Welcome back to Dreamin' Does Gaming. Dreamin' here playing more Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, there we go. There's just no like music in here. Um, I was wondering why it was so quiet. Um, I was looking too, and uh, because I was curious, like, we are still up on the tactician level stuff, so I was like, that owlbear fight went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. So... I just wanted to double check and um, make sure that that was the case. All right, we do want to. I guess we could have went <laughs> went through the other door there. Ah, oh, shoot! Is this a wall now? Do we actually have to go back the other way? Oh no! We can go through here. We are we're already here. <laughs> My bad. Um. How do we get out of here? Where is the exit? There it is. There's nothing. So we got the necromancy of Thay. We met Raphael. We got the owlbear. Um, really? Um, that's that's a lot of the stuff that we did. We are out of short rest. Other than the song of um, the bard song, we can do here. We've already looked over a lot of this stuff. Come down here and we can talk to these I should speak up. goblins. Keep your paws to yourself and I won't cut them off. Thank you. Everything here is ours. Bugger off. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of you guys. And also, my cat is trying to climb the desk. Hello. Hello, cat. Are you actually going to be nice? Come on. Purring pretty good. Alright, we are encumbered though, so that's not great. <laughs> Cat Add to where's What was that? Oh yeah, these things D4 plus 2 Um All of this stuff We can make, and, and I still don't know what I did with that. Um, so here we will add to wares, and then anything that's a wear. Send to Carlac. There we go. And sort by type. Yeah, I'm kind of miffed that I don't know where that um, shaft went. I must have like accidentally sold it or something. Usually, if you sell something like that, though, um, you can buy it back, and that's the thing that I don't overly like. Is that I don't know where it went. Because <laughs> we checked the few vendors that I would have sold it to if I would have at all. Oh, these are just regular old goblins. Okay. No time to rest. On my way. Blighted village. So we have these ogres up in there. That we can go deal with if we need to. If we want to. Tavern of some sort. Okay, just a supply pack, nice. Oh, a game for surface children. Okay. Well we'll pick that up. 
warning to the sword coast yeah so those are just going to be um Well, from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Makes sense. Um, let's peer into it and just kind of see. Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. Interesting. The corner we'll throw a coin. Disappears into the darkness. Landing with a soft clink. Neat. I don't really want to go down the well yet. Now, what is going on up here? Crates. Why are they throwing rocks? What are we... Rescue the gnome? Look what we got here! Another little birdie wanting to fly! Not today. Stop this thing! Barkus. Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for ice. The hell's are you what doing? Does bloody look like we're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Um, release my kin at once. <laughs> Want to save your ranty little friend, do ya? <laughs> Not a chance. He's ours. Yeah. The symbol glows. Power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Won't let you harm a defenseless human being, not without a fight. Um. All you lot against one deep gnome, you should go find a better target. Read his mind. I'd like to detect his thoughts. Let's check that out. Got much stomach for a fight. Better just put on a show and scare this one off. Hmm. You don't have the stomach for a fight. The goblin's nostrils flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. <laughs> what about the other gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to? I said we're leaving. There'll be richer pickings <laughs> than these little gnats someplace else. Yeah, get out of here. Mauled sheep. Yeah, we probably have to go down in the wooden hatch for that would be my guess. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We should keep moving. Spanning viewers, I hope it won't become a hindrance for us. What just happened? Another episode? Why does this keep happening to you? You already know as much as I do. Best ignore it. As long as it doesn't hamper us too much. Mm hmm. That's not usually a good thing. Doesn't look like coming up here was the right thing. Nothing to really grab. So back down we go. And down into the hatch. Oh. There 
There we go. Well, slow down, buddy. Cut me loose. Uh, what's in it for me? Free him. how this works, yes? I'd rather know how you got caught. my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. A little far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance gnome. is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Hello. Gate for Me years. Too. I'm also deep gnome. I I'm thought there'd be some... Friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend. Hmm. Nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Uh huh. Rescue the gnome. Okay. We did so. Yeah, I thought there would be some um, some stuff we could do with that. As a as a deep gnome, that's kind of disappointing. Um, why is there like a question mark in here? Barkus's pack. Oh, it's somewhere down in here. Okay, got it. Ooh, there's a speedy light beat. Athletics plus one, medium armor. Okay. Okay. Sack. Okay. Did we find it? Maybe? I guess we did because it's no longer on our thing. I mean that didn't seem like a lot of good stuff. Um, I mean these are nice. We'll give those to the one person that can use them right now. Oh you need to actually be yielding that. Um, let's Add all that stuff to wares. Send to Carlac. Shadow Heart. So you now you can get this with so plus one athletics, which is nice. When they dash or take a similar action, they gain some lightning charges. So that's kind of nice. Looking more and more like a cleric. Okay. Cool. Got a few things out of that. This 
studded shield over here. With haste. So is this a statue of Shar or Saluni? Because that's what I would be guessing what, why she's so... Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, that's probably where the goblin hideout is, isn't it? So they're not just in the village, they're in the goblin hideout. That's cool looking. Um, we can go down this way a little bit. And see where this takes us. Oh. Where are we going? a scrawny bugbear over here that wants to fight. Interesting. <laughs> oh, where is Carlac? health left. Let's just flourish him. There we go. Intriguing. Uh, I don't know why that's a fight versus everything else here, right? Just rotten chicken eggs. Gross. A wooden crate here that they were digging up. They are just go explore all these little houses and stuff. Oh, is he just knocked out? Oh yeah, he's just knocked out. Are these guys still up here, like, on the, uh, stuff? Yeah, they are. Regarding strange riders in these parts. Okay. Highcliff's Journal. Where's that? Oh, back there. My master weapons are almost complete. There's just one component left. Stash prototypes and blueprints for now. Just you wait. Neat. Finish the masterwork weapon. So... They must be nearby. Got it. It's a Lunite necklace. Not to my taste, certainly. You should give that to her. Huh. Calcified web. Well, you know what you can do with that, right? Um. Where is Gail? I applaud your taste. Okay. I have a lot on my mind. Can An old key. Nice. Why are we getting up there to get it? Alright, a lot of this stuff we can just give to, um... Here. Carlac, here you go. 
thinking that's five pounds. I feel like that's something um, a starion should have. So there we go. Looks like we can go down there. Some light hammers. Dagger. Nothing that's really grabbing our attention. We jump down there. We can. Okay. I'll be right back. Um, we'll continue exploring this just in a minute. Okay, so we've jumped down. Um, well, we might as well go ahead and disarm this. Barely got it, nice, lovely. It's the way to do it, right? High cliff blueprints, ah. Well, I think we found the blueprints. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines form the blueprints of three weapons, a great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Interesting. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements and forging instructions printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient. Susser bark. Okay. Susser bark. Rare find. There's only one place I'm finding a Susa tree. The Underdark. Okay, good to know. So we have to go down to the Underdark in order to do that. Unless we can find some, you know, if they have some in here or something. Um, make a great sword. one would probably be good for, uh... Oh, what's her face? That's with us. The other stuff that we have, um... Pick up that to wares. I don't think we need to read that book. Um, doesn't really, sorry, lost my thought. Oh, jeez, that's a barrel. We don't need to take a barrel with us. Drop. Lock pick. Yeah, because some of this, um, you know, going down the Underdark, we already know where to go to get to the Underdark. Uh, we'll try again with these tools rather than inspiration. We have 20-something of them. So that's nice. Steel Forge Sword, Weapon Enchantment plus one. That's very nice. Infernal Iron, nice. And a Blacksmith Note. Then metal, hardness 9.5, very hard. Color silver, red lacerations, flecked with yellow dust. Underdark, gift from redacted, faintly sulfuric odor. Forging unsuccessful, will not melt or warp at standard temperature. I wonder if that's from like a devil then. Neat. Yes. Damon, can you use this to fix me? Yep, we're gonna send that to you, Carlac. Um, along with all that stuff, because we're going to be full up pretty quick here. The Steel Forge Sword, it's a short sword. Interesting. Um, let's throw that Shadow Heart for now, but I'm sure we'll be able to make use of it. Cracked wall, eh? Hm. What a charmer. You just hit it. You shouldn't have tried me. Immune to slashing damage. Do we have like a big um 
mall. There we go. Put that back on. No one back home will ever believe this. Blacksmith bellows. Okay. Only helps if there is fuel in there, I guess. Which would make sense. Go turn on every torch that we can here. Here we go. Tong, short swords. Anything of use? Rope. Yeah, I, we probably don't have to take everything, but at least some stuff that, you know. We obviously do not need, like, a broom. And come into here. Looks like we can, like, go up there or something, maybe? Hmm. Lots of stuff. Hammer. Bottle racks. Nothing too important right there. Carlac, here you go, have some more stuff. Flail. All right, and we found ourselves a door and a torch. A door and a torch. We'll check this out in here in a second. What are you doing in order to light that? Like, the heck? And where are you going to light this torch? Literally, I thought it was right here. Those are just bottles, nothing in them. Just another crate. Pleasurable deal. Okay, so we've seen that before. Encumbered some more. Nice. Probably should give all that stuff to Carlac. There we go. Now, where does this take us? Oh. Okay. So it does look like we can get up there. Maybe. Maybe from this side? Where the heck does it go to? Okay, what about... Carlac can. Carlac, 
and Shadowheart. Okay, that's uh, the slashing damage again. Alright, let's just break everything. Okay. Well, I think we found the Underdark. Well, let's come back down here. No one stopped me yet. Wonder if the gods. Let's go through here then. Oh. It's the same thing, it's just on this side. Bats, spider webs, ugh. The whispering depths. Those webs carry vibrations. Oh, so in other words, there's gonna be a giant spider or something in here. Hmm. Don't overly want to deal with that right now. Can we like get out of here from this way? You know what? Let's let's uh Yeah, we can't. So we actually have to go up that way. So it looks like there is either the underdark and a spider down here. Which is grand old fun time. I'm gonna suggest that we don't worry about that right now. Um, maybe let's go talk to the ogres. Not a whole lot else it seems like there is to do here. There was some more stuff out this way that we could go check out. Gnome tastes good like bear. Oh no. Should we bring out a familiar here? <laughs> Infectious bites, blind enemies. Yeah, maybe that'll help out. I have a feeling we might have to be fighting this thing, these things. This, these things? Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Uh. Gentle. Lump the enlightened. Train yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Huh? Stranger, be you friend or food? Or food? The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. You're quite elegant for an ogre. Deception? Am I not no. a Astonishing. A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Hmm. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the Absolute's chosen disciples. Seems fine. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food? Not food. Friend. Hmm? I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. 
gluttony, and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Mm. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. <laughs> Uh, forget goblins, you should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Thousand gold after you fight for me? Persuasion, I'll pay you in the flesh of the fallen, you'll have your fill. I mean, oh no. I feel like this this would be a fun one to use um, that for. Would it also be a fun one to use Eagle Splendor for? I think it would. There we go. A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow, and the ground will quake with my family name. Huh. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Huh. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. I've seen few ogres in these parts. We follow the sense of blood and I mean, gold to cool. all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. Well, that's good. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Done. Pyramid scheme? <laughs> and there they go. Wow. They're going fast. Lumps Warhorn. Okay, let's take a take a look at that. Convince the ogres to work for you without giving them gold. That's phenomenal. Um, that's cool because that's something that I didn't do last time that I played this. That might be worth a look. Cracked support beam. Okay, got it. Dead Typhling. Tarnish locket. Okay. someone's diary. It might explain what happened here. Okay, we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Alright, what was that? That was... Old school book. A school's attendance log fills the ancient pages as the pages and the days progress more and more pupils' names vanish from the entries. An urgent script a note in the margin states that someone has to investigate what's become of the missing children and families. Was that it? that it? Falling in the fall? No, that's, that's the other one. Okay. Did that really tell us much? It didn't, didn't and we didn't get a quest. So interesting. Well, I'm going to send all this stuff to Carlac. Um, oh, and speaking of which, that's why, why are we so full on everything? Well, this is probably why. Yeah, there's 20 pounds. A's for Azul. Add to wares. Wooden desk. Where's this other book? Aha. Uh, 
All right. Anything up top there? Kind of what I want to look at. Nothing under there. Okay. It's a fun looking spot. Volo's Guide to Baldur's Gate. Well, we've met Volo already. Editor's Note in Crimson Mink. V and E. So that's probably by Volo. Someone else do the map. Interesting. We'll pick that up. That's neat. Mugwort. Okay. A few things to check out over here. Hmm. Um. I'm assuming there's a place to dig right over here. That's yeah. Curious. <laughs> oh, that's actually quite nice. A hundred gold in there. Another step forward. Pick up at wares. More and more books. Uh, yeah, let's come around this way and see if we can get up top here. A missing poster, eh? That's just that brawler. Thing cool and exciting up here. Um, no. Appears not to be. Okay. Well, let's go check out the other side of the uh, this little village, and then we can say we are done exploring this village. Did we check this. We did not. Good here. I hope. Moss-covered chest. again. We have 32 tools, so you know, we can we can do this a little bit. There we go. Haste helm. Actually, that is phenomenal. The start of combat the gain the wearer gains 3 momentum and some money and some fish. Now, was that helmet actually armor? It's not. Um, Gale, maybe? Oh, no, he's got that. Give that to Carlac, maybe? Alright, so momentum... Movement speed is increased by 1.5 meters for three turns, is how I read that. That's actually was very nice. Okay, so we did those. A little bit of stuff over here. Let's have a look. Okay. Well, we'll just come down here and check out this stuff. And then we're, like, nearly done with uh, the Solaria. Oh, yeah, there's the scrawny bugbear there that didn't want to die and only got knocked out. Yeah, that is something that we have to um, make sure we keep it, keep attention of, um, pay attention to. 
Oh, why are we saving here? And that's um Yeah, we've been over there. That's where the knolls and stuff were. Anything over here? Just mud. Um, we can knock out people. It's probably beneficial to do that every now and then. Um, we don't have to kill everyone. I always, I always forget about that as a thing that we can do. Dagger plus one. Beast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough leathery meat. Interesting. Carefully wiggle it out. Investigation. Examine the meat. Perhaps there's more to it than just removing the dagger. the blade is at an angle to the meat's grain. If you align the dagger with the grain, it should slip out easily. Okay. Thanks to your keen eye, the dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Lovely. Mystery meat, tough as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, a loose boulder. Nothing over there. Okay. All right. Let's go check out this one. Let's open the door. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I didn't want to fight. What the hell are you doing? Apologies, didn't mean to interrupt. Do carry on. There's bookshops in Baldur's Gate that pay well for this kind of smut. <laughs> I think I have to try that. Do you carry on. Tell of my rutting. My virility. I want this puny rutting written down. Puny? I am strong. I am virile. I am a... Enough! <laughs> oh, a moment ruined. Passion squished like slow goats underfoot mm. oh, we leave <laughs> oh that's disgusting were they on top of like a court what the hell that's even more disgusting really the the realm according to Bumpo. Okay. Well, this is going very interesting this session. To say the least. A Z for Azul and other gods. Ooh. Lots of nice stuff there. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. 
Oh, these barrels. Yeah, this is quite different from uh, the uh, last time that I played through here. The blacksmith's blueprints. Weapons from the looks of it. His designs are unfinished. Rough drafts. No more. Okay, so that, those don't matter too much. Um. We hop down here at all? Not from this side. Anyways, so I wanted to come check out back here and stuff to see. Oh yeah, looks like we should be able to come down there. Oh, nope, never mind. We have to go around that way. Got it. What was that crazy sound? Where am I? Where are we? Over there. Oh, okay. Collapsed burrow. Gomwick. Tough letter, soft letter, personal note. Okay, well, let's read some of these. Who the heck is Gomwick? Isn't he one of the um, hero guys, that adventurers that the guy just left? Nine fingers. I'll come back to the city, not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging. You'll find enough. Okay. Intriguing. Davin, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can get to leave, Flora. Davin Jr. Be doubly careful on the way back to Bulger's Gate. We see many ports of attacks on travelers in the region. Well, he is face down in a ditch, unfortunately. Okay. Not a whole lot more, it looks like, over here. We, yeah, we were able to get to there, checked out all that stuff. And looks like we've already been over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, because this is the Owlbear Cave right here. Okay, got it, got it. Very neat. And there we go. So we are done this little village. There is a... So what's here? Save the Goblin Saza. Okay, so that's like all right in here. Then the Twisted Tree and stuff down there. Maybe we should head down there. This feels like it, we should go there next, like after. But my dog's barking. And I think we're going to be done here. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.